Yeah, you know, I'm thinking you should go into hiding for the next few weeks. How's that? How is that? Well, I just, I, I just don't know how you're gonna do it, you know? How are you gonna, like, walk around town holding that head up high after all of that uh, macho strutting and sure. bragging you did about how there's no way women can beat you at baseball? <laughs> and we slaughtered them. No, 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 no. I wouldn't say slaughtered. No, okay, you... okay, well, that's true. Decimated. Ooh, Decimated nice. is a better word. All right, okay, a bet's a bet. Where do you want us to take you for that lobster dinner we owe you? Um, some place I can wear my new dress. <laughs> These chicks in their clothes. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry? Okay, if you're gonna start knocking the female oh, sex... Hell again. no. <laughs> Just making an observation. Man, we can we can float through life with a few pairs of jeans, a t-shirt or two. Uh-huh, and a big mouth. Hey, don't get your back up. I'm not saying anything anyone doesn't know. Women live for their clothes. I mean, you think what you wear makes all the difference in the world. It's what's underneath that matters. Oh, underneath that matters. You mean like our bodies, right? Well, great, 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 Jared. Thank you so much. Once a sexist pig, always a sexist pig. You know, forget dinner, forget me. I want you out of this house now. Go, Jared, please get out. What, like, what are you waiting for? You are some piece I don't of... you dare. Work. I was going to say work. Uh, 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 why? Why? Because, because I don't have patience for narrow-minded sexist men? No, because you're the most gullible woman I've ever met. Man, it's so easy to get you riled up. <laughs> okay, I have to say, Jared, you were absolutely right. I owe you one, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what's so all fired amusing? Well, Jared here, I uh, bet us earlier that we could get you worked up in 30 seconds flat. And it only took 20? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Just had to knock you off that high horse you keep getting back up on. Tess. I have told you so many times, do not call me Tess. Okay. Okay, okay, fine. You're right. I do overreact a little. Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes. 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 Okay. All right, okay. Often. Okay, okay, all right already. I overreact all the time. You're right. Sorry. You Tess. got me. Jared. You make up for your fiery temper by being able to laugh at yourself. Now, where do you want to go for that lobster dinner I owe you? Look, you know, we could decide that later. If you want me, you can um, get cleaned up at my place. Oh, that's cool, man. Thanks. Bye. Right. Bye. Bye. So, hmm. So what? So, uh, is he growing on you? Like a barnacle. Oh, please. He makes you laugh, which in itself is a miracle. You know, he might just be the guy to make you forget about Ethan. We'll see. Hmm. Oh, wow, that was fast, you guys. Looking very nice. And so do you. Mm, thank you. Mwah. <laughs> Where's Tess? Oh, she's still getting ready. She's hell bent on wearing this dress. I don't know. <laughs> don't tell me. She made it herself, didn't she? Well, I... hey, what? Oh, <laughs> excuse me for one second. <laughs> hey, what's the matter? I got my zippers stuck. Oh, Thanks. okay, I got it. Thank you. Are you sure you want to wear your new dress tonight? Are you, are you, of course. I mean, I'm not gonna be able to wear it for Ethan, obviously. And I, I don't know. Kind of, kind of hoping Jared likes it. Well, I wouldn't count on that. What? Um, just saying, you know, you know how guys are. I mean, they hardly notice what a woman's wearing anyway. I mean, that's how Chad is. Got it? Yeah, got it. Okay. How do I look? Um, wow. Wow. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't have the words. I know, I know. It's, it, it, it's, it's, it's different. I got that. I know, but that's why it cost a fortune. I mean, no point being Teresa Crane if I go around wearing cookie cutter fashions, right? Yeah, I guess not. I'm ready. What do you think? Do you like it? Like the dress? It's, uh, something, all right. That's exactly what I said, Jared. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, it, it's an original. 
I can tell. <laughs> Why don't we get going? It's <laughs> a good idea. Uh, want a coat, Teresa? Oh, no, no, I'm not gonna cover up the dress. Silly, come on. Seascape, wouldn't he? Well, Jared said that he was going to get us lobster. He didn't necessarily say it was going to be the most expensive place, so. Yeah, well, why did I waste my new dress at the lobster shack? Um, yeah, yeah. What's wrong with you, Janice? That's Teresa Crane waiting online. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't realize. Well, seat her now. Her company owns the land this restaurant sits on. Hi. So nice to see you. Your hostess will seat you right away. Thank you. We are lucky day, huh? <clears throat> hey, we were here first. Wait. Darling, don't you see who that is? Yeah, Teresa Crane, Miss Muckety Muck. I see all that money didn't buy her good taste. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy your meal. Oh. Hi. What are they looking at? Maybe your uh, <clears throat> dress. Good job. Whitney, should not have worn this dress. I didn't know we were coming here, though, you know? You know what? <sighs> Forget about that. I love what you did. Excuse me? A dress. No. So what if it's a little different? I really admire the fact that you don't care what other people think. I mean, what were you going for, like a sex in the city thing? Uh, uh, Jared, I'll have you know that this dress... No, 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 no. don't get me wrong, Teresa. I'm, I'm not putting it down. I think it's great that you make your own clothes to save a few bucks. My hat's off to all those single mothers out there trying to get by in this crazy doggy dog world. <laughs> Weird, isn't it? That's one word for it. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what you were smoking, Teresa. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I first saw you and I, I couldn't tell if it was a dress or a giant disco a handkerchief you couldn't get out of. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, but you usually have really good taste. Wait, yeah, I, I, you know, I knew it was, it was, it was, it was, it was risk. When I got it, risk, risk, hey. risk. No, I'm getting like you more. Uh, because of my great taste in clothing? No. But you can laugh at yourself. I'm glad you came out today, too. So what do you think? About what? About those two. They might be really falling for each other, huh? It's not that idiot. Oh, yes, it is. <laughs> oh, let her be. So it's not the most beautiful dress I've ever seen. I can't begin to tell you how much I admire the fact that you make your own clothes. Oh, I mean, but Jerry... <clears throat> anything to save a penny or two, I'm all for it. I bet your boss doesn't pay you half what you're worth. Probably works you like a dog, huh? Um, it's very sweet of you to care. Jared. I can relate. I mean, when I first got out there, I was broker than broke, trying to work three jobs to get by. You're kidding me. What kind of jobs did you have? Well, the one that gave me the hardest time was building Jen. I really never got the hang of working with the machinery. Don't ever tangle with a floor waxer. I had a fight with one one time. It had me pressed against a picture window ready to toss me out to the Chicago sky. <laughs> 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 well, bottom line is I quit my job the next day before I killed myself. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we might just have a match up here. 